So YouTube, it finally happened. I painted my door. <laughs> So yes, finally my back door is one solid color. Um, and it took me a while to get to this just because honestly it wasn't that important. But I was getting to the point that whenever I looked at the back of my truck, I didn't feel so good about it. And now like it's not perfect, there's still work to do, but it is one solid color. But getting here took a lot of steps. So one of the first steps was actually just talking things out with Jaylena. She's just a better painter than me. If you guys haven't subscribed to her channel, her channel is Leave Her Wild. And like, my idea of painting is just slapping paint on it. I'm not really good at the prep work and what I should do. And I wanted to take a little bit more care with this project. Now there were plans to do something maybe creative with the back door or the driver's side door as far as some mural work. Those ended up not working out and they ended up honestly just all getting flat white paint. But I'm kind of happy with that. And anyway, the day before the sanding actually could take place, there were some e uneven parts of the door that I put some wood filler in. So that wood filler had actually dried overnight before we started the sanding the next day. Or should I say, Jaylena started the sanding the next day. She knocked that door out. I mean, she put in so much hard work and elbow grease while I got a chance to work on some other projects because Painting the back door was not the only goal. One of my other problems has always been the roof of my cab area. There's always been some rough spots up there that I knew I needed to take care of, and I didn't want to just throw white paint on them. Um, so I needed to sand down those areas. Um, down to the metal as much as possible. I mean, it's mostly just brown. It actually wasn't that bad once I got up there and it wasn't ex as hard as I expected it to be. Um, I was able to sand most of those areas down and get them ready for paint. I also ended up painting over the formerly rusted areas with a rust protection primer before I added more white paint. So another thing I wanted to do was actually paint the grill black. And so I removed the grill and the two little plastic covers that go on the lights beside it so that I could paint those items black. But it didn't just stop there because I wanted everything kind of to end up in an accent of stark white or stark black. So I also removed the side view mirrors from the passenger and driver's side of the car. And then after masking off the mirror part of the mirrors, I basically just cleaned those things off and went ahead and sprayed them down with some of the black Rust-Oleum spray paint. The other thing I wanted to change to black were all four of my visible rims. So the first thing I had to do for that was give them a nice, good cleaning. When all four were done, they got masked off and hit with some black spray paint.
One of the last spots prepped to be changed from white to black was my front bumper. Um, so like the other areas, it needed to be washed and sanded down before it could be painted. It did have some rust spots as well that were hit with the same rusty metal that I would end up using on the cab roof. I somehow didn't record actually painting it, but this is what it looked like after. And now I'm about to take all the masking off and start to reattach everything that I had taken off of the car. The other thing that I did, because I was just jumping around between projects, I've just done things sort of linearly for this video, is I painted my driver's side door white after also washing it and sanding it down. It's still a bit dented from an incident that I do not want to get into, but at least looks a little bit better sanded down and painted. And of course, in between all those other projects going on, as I started out this video with, I actually got the back rear door painted over fully white. And so what am I going to do with this dark white sort of canvas behind me? At one point I was thinking about getting a mural put on it and then I decided I didn't want to. Um, when I let go of my van, my van, my Chevy van, I had this cargo carrier that had been on my minivan that I then transferred to the Chevy Express van and I love that thing. You know, and it had all of my stickers from all of my travels up to that point. And when I let that minivan, well, when I let the Chevy van go, I took it off the minivan and put it on the Chevy van and kept it. When I got to this, I didn't need it. And it really didn't make sense to try to put it on top when I was going to add storage boxes underneath the truck. So actually what I want to do with this back wall, and hopefully I won't regret it later, is I want to make this my wall of stickers. And so I'm going to put... It looks so weird. It doesn't even look like a door. It just looks like I have like a white canvas behind me. But if I go out like this, you can tell it's the door of the box truck. Um, but what I want to do is start putting stickers on here from my travels, from meeting other YouTubers, from whatever. And I have a couple of stickers to start that off. If I can find my bag, it should be laying around here somewhere. I love when you can't find things when you need them. So I found them. My bag of stickers that I've been holding on to, and I have a few things that I am going to add to the box truck. I'm missing some. I don't know what happened to them. Um, I was given a lot of stickers that gutted. I, in fact, can't find my gutted sticker, and I wish I had it to add, but I misplaced it. I have this California sticker. California was a huge part of my life change. 
as much as people hate on California, California is like a huge part of me. So yeah, I want this California sticker on there and I'd like to add more steak stickers as I go. Um, Vanning Ain't No Joke is a cool little YouTube channel you can actually look up, but also I love their sticker. And so I'm going to put that on there. You can't not have a Weirdos Unite. I'm actually running out of stickers. I always had some reserve stickers and now I'm running out of them. I have a sticker from Tina the Outsider that's going to be going on there. What's up, Tina? Um, this is another sticker from Vanning. Ain't no joke. If you lived in your car, you'd already be home. I love that one. Um, I got this Black Nerd Expo sticker that I definitely want to add. I was actually sent this in the, the mail. I want to add this to the back of my truck. Um, if I could get some more, like, anime and, like, comic book stickers that are, like, my t things that I'm into, I really would love to add them to the truck, too. Like, I'd really like to get my nerd vibe on here. Um, I have Rudel the Labradoodle for anybody who follows one adventure at a time. I just lost some stickers, so I'm going to have to go get them. Whoop, the wind is trying to take away my stickers, y'all. I'm fighting with them. <laughs> They're right down here. Um, I have a Lady Bug Out sticker I'm going to add. I have a Lost Renegade sticker that I'm going to add. I have a Home is Where You Park It sticker that I'm going to maybe add. Hmm. Yeah. I'm definitely going to add this. But I may not add it where I think I'm going to add it. Um, whoops. <sighs> Let's just move. So that's just a few stickers to start. I don't plan to fill up, fill up the whole wall. But this is what we're going to start with. This is going to be our beginning and hopefully me and this truck will have a long life where it gains a lot of stickers and this will just be a part of its history with me as my traveling home and it'll be great. added a few special things to the lift gate the flipped up part of the lift gate some of it was for safety but some of it was just for fun so with that i am leaving bus town as everyone likes to call it um, a slightly different truck than when I arrived, and that's kind of fun. Now, the box itself is going to be a completely separate project. Even the framing around the back door still needs some sanding and some repainting, but the box is such a huge project on its own. 
I just wanted to get all the things around it done so that I can make room for that. So now it's time for the YouTube business part of the video. You know that one where I remind you that YouTube has this thing called the algorithm that decides your value in life. I'm kidding, it just decides your value on YouTube. So if you do value a creator such as myself or any other creator on YouTube, remember every time you watch their videos, it's important to watch them all the way to the end. It is also really great and really helpful when you hit those thumbs up and you leave comments and you interact with the video. Also, if you want to be reminded when your favorite YouTubers are posting videos, hitting that subscriber button and hitting that bell beside it, assist with that process all right i have now given my servitude to the algorithm it's just a part of the job and i'd like to extend my special thanks as always to my supporters on patreon and youtube memberships i love you all those who just watch videos those who throw in that extra support and those who've even watched just one video of mine it all helps all right guys have a nice evening <laughs>